I don't think nobody's really ever contemplated what we have to go through. They're always thinking about we have a house and we don't want some trash outside in the front when we walk out. But what if the what if the shoes was on the flip side? Another day, homeless sweeps all over Los Angeles, all over wherever you live. We talked to three homeless people that are being displaced. Each one of them plans on coming back. So how does this help? I feel like sometimes sanitation, for example, they can give you a little bit more of a warning. And they wake us up, they tell us, hey, you guys gotta get your stuff off the block. We told you, you gotta move it. And when they're in a bad mood and just say, okay, we're gonna throw your stuff away. They don't even give us a chance to move our stuff at all. They just come in and start throwing stuff in the trash. Then they pick through it and try to find what they want to keep for themselves. Oh my gosh. And then throw, throw the rest of the stuff away. Oh my gosh. It's messed up. I still haven't been able to go see an eye doctor, go see a dentist, go check out my health because we're so worried about our things. Um, we gotta worry about other people coming to take it. And now, what sucks, we gotta worry about the city taking it now. They're supposed to be housing people here, um, and there's none. They're not offering you anything. They're not here. See, the politicians are saying they're offering you guys help, but they're not. No, I've been on the list for a year and a half. You've been on the the support list, the housing list for a year and a half, and still nothing. Waiting list and waiting list after waiting list after waiting list after waiting list. I've been on waiting all the waiting lists for years, and they still haven't got me anything. Are you guys gonna come back to this area? Yeah, I mean, where else are we gonna go? It's like, what we're gonna try to go find a different location just for what for it to happen again and to start over again, again, again. It's like, why even bother? Might as well just stay put. As soon as they leave, set it up again. I mean, unfortunately, we have no choice. Like, where else are you gonna keep going? We always have like a little hope and possibility that, you know, the homeless advocates will come and be like, hey, we have uh, match you with, uh, with housing. Yeah. If we don't stay in this location, they won't know where to find us. Well, that's huge. And it's not homeless, it's the support workers. Yes. Yeah. It's two days later and tents are back. Homeless sweeps do nothing to solve homelessness. Not the same tent. Uh, unfortunately, they took the other one I had, which was a little better. So it's still in the works of getting uh, up there the right way. But uh, I'm happy, you know, it's a, somewhere to crash for, the, for a couple of nights before I get it all set up again. How many times have you lost all your stuff? A um, couple times. Uh, the stuff I don't really want to, you know, recall right now because it's, it's kind of painful. You know? If we just keep pushing people to other parts of the city, I can't imagine what Los Angeles or your city is going to look like in a few years.